Yo, what's good? So I'll figure out to do a little post commentary over one of my older videos. Freaking. Let me just kind of do this one together because it was one of the few matches that I thought was just really just fun and just really good. The people were hilarious and we got some you know, chill and we got some stuff done. I celebrated. I'm almost to level 96 uh, now. But yeah, we've I mean, just been grinding those eradication missions. Can use the basic setup. A little bit of speed boost at the jump pack just because I have one utility slot for you. Might as well get that for some stuns. And just get the heck out of there. <laughs> Maybe smokes. Smokes will help my team a little bit more. Stunning. But anyway. Yeah, um, celebrating the game finally being stable. They have more patch notes, more crash fixes, so I've only crashed maybe three times. Maybe, like, the last couple sessions I played. Maybe at least once per session, but, yeah, not too bad. So I'm gonna get some bunkers done, immediately spawn right in here and get my flipping smoke strike so I can have some cover from the ships, call them the hell bomb. I'll throw in another one too just to make sure I can type the cheat code in. I can even do this solo now. I think this is gonna be the trick to doing that. You sneak your way in still. Take out the any of the bots that will call in drop pods and just you know. And yeah, the game's finally stable now, for the most part. I've been in, uh, taking advantage of that and actually doing some, uh... I'm actually doing um, the trophies. I got the platinum trophy for this game. <laughs> On this funny as fuck, the last trophy I needed was literally to complete the tutorial. I never completed the tutorial because when I bought this game it was so buggy I flipping. Couldn't even, uh... <laughs> it, like crashed in the halfway when I put the flag in and I was about to hop into the ship it crashed on me so I never got the trophy for complete <laughs> so that was my last one I don't know if I want to throw together a video guide on how to get my, some of the hardest trophies I think were the challenging ones the, uh, the one where you have to kill a charger with a drop pod or a resupply pod it won't kill it in one hit you have to what I did was I did a a hard mission and I looked for killer chargers a mission you get two chances and you can close your application to get a retry but I use the infinite grenade glitch on stun grenades and you can probably do this legit I patch this with an EMS mortar stun grenades and um, you'd want to uh, when you choose where to drop on the map before you select your loadout you want to drop right on the charger and you could see the orange on your map. You could be able to see them. It's like a you could get the uh, you can see what that hive looks like. You could see what his nest looks like. It's like a big circle. Like and once you get the idea, you know you do it a few drops, you retry a few times. If you have to, you'll get it down. But I use the drop pod to do the initial damage and hit his side, so it takes that chunk out of his side, and then I stun them with grenades, the EMS motor, and the. Uh, Resupply. You can probably get the resupply if you time it right by hitting him into a wall. You know, lead him into a wall, he crashes, whatever. That was one of the hard ones. And then another hard one was beating the Blitz mission on extreme difficulty in 6 minutes, gone in 3, uh, 360 seconds. That one is a fun one. I'm not really sure what type of build I would suggest. I did uh, Terminids, and I found a map layout where there was four bug holes fairly close to the extraction and then like a huge hive with like eight bug holes and a stalker uh, so what I did was I landed on the stalker hive with my drop pod and then I used um, the orbital barrage the not the 380 the 110 millimeter the 500 kilogram ball bomb, the eagle airstrike. So you have like one bomb, the the strike that goes horizontal, and then I use the orbital laser, and I drop in, kill that stalker, and then immediately turn around and hit like this massive uh, bug hole hive, and just hit it with an orbital laser, a barrage, and an airstrike, and then immediately start running the opposite direction. You could probably do this solo, but it's just easier if you had like. 
one or two people. Preferably with like a jetpack, or hopefully this will be easier to do when you have a car, because they're gonna add cars to the game, but without it, probably be easier with a jetpack and having at least two people, but to do it solo, you could probably do it with a car, infinite grenades, whatever. <laughs> If they still have the infinite grenade glitch, you can easily use impacts and shit to just freaking get the rest of those bug hives. And then you have to use the booster. Well, probably don't have to, but it definitely makes it very much easier to do this. It's the booster from the new war bond that makes it's the expert evac pilot, expert extraction pilot booster that will flip and take off like 20, 30 seconds, and that is definitely gonna help out because we basically had only 30 seconds left and I tried this trophy like multiple times where like <sighs> we just missed it by like maybe 10 seconds and yeah I was like screw this I'm not using the stamina booster I'm not using the muscle enhancement because of the stun grenades or whatever I'm just gonna <laughs> freaking use impact grenades and use that setup with the barrages and the eagle strikes and then flip and just speed run as fast as I can and I got the flip and expert evac pilot makes the extract just a little bit smoother and you can have like a teammate that uses like a smoke bomb on the evac that would also probably make it smoother but I didn't have that I just want full offensive <clears throat> and then yeah that was my method I just kind of got lucky with some fairly decent teammates. And then there are some easy ones, like, I had to ask a teammate that's like, it's like, hey, can you help me reload this auto cannon really quick and I'll go for a trophy. Well, don't pay attention to that freaking. I wasn't looking at the mines, I was looking at this guy. I was looking at my strategies. Anyway, <laughs> so that was, yeah, those are the two hard ones, I think. I when I think about it. I kind of hope they don't patch this infinite grenade glitch because I was having fun with it. Uh, yeah, I was actually having a lot of fun with this this mission here. These guys are cool. These guys are chill. So, be for sure, I think he's on PC or something. It's like, yeah, I'll add you. You're you're chill as fuck. Well, a friend requests you, but still, the social menus don't work really well. Um, when I look at recent players, it, was, it shows people from like two weeks ago that I never, I don't even remember meeting, and then. The other part of the social menu is like I can't add my uh, I can't add my friends. I can't see my friends that are online. I can't add the people that are on Xbox and PC. So it's like, what do I do? I, do? I have friends that want to play with me that I can't play with. It's gonna get stuck up there. I think that's an issue for a co-op game if they really want to have like cross-play and like you know, like, you know it's at least there. They have they have the plans to make the social network, but it's like, oh, uh, it's frustrating. Well, it's just like, I guess the last thing that they need to do, really, because most of the bugs are fixed. I'm just flipping. That's just all it is, it's just getting the, the connectivity finally fully just like ironed out. Get some new guns. I want some guns in that week. <laughs> I think they're finally did, like listen to the community a lot. It's like, that is not, I'm not used to that for flipping. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really ought to say. Um, I'm gonna let the rest of this gameplay play out. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.
you are gonna hopefully save my life, x right? Thank you for letting yourself be known. Shit, Alpha's dead. Alright. From what I can tell, there's a tank and a heavy. And a hole. I'm gonna throw an EMS sentry to give us some time. Or we can just leave I have an auto cannon. Coming out! Oh shit. Oh my god. To the skies! Rolling down! 
there's an auto cannon over here? Marking location. Never mind. Yeah. That thing rolled a half a mile. Tagging location. Five any EMS mortar sentry active. Should help us buy some time. Hopefully. How about a nice chunk of liver Echo, you better get something yes. Ish. You're gonna just call it in. I'm pretty close, but I don't know if I'm doing it. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle inbound. Requesting advanced weaponry. Nice. Thank you! You are the best. I'm gonna add you after. <laughs> Oh, mama mia! I'm out of date! Thank this you! Very shitty. Did this give me the samples? Oh god. He's about to go fucking risk it. Activating jump pad. Throwing grenade!
Bro, we're not gonna be able to see shit. So yeah, it's safe to say that I'm finally starting to have fun in this game again. I hope I was starting to get burnt out and I was, turns out I was just annoyed with all the bugs and the lack of variety with the end game builds, but I was having a lot of fun with the jetpack and messing around with new stuff and, on, and honestly, if it wasn't for the infinite grenade glitch, I probably wouldn't be trying out other things because <laughs> like, honestly having infinite impacts kind of compensates for the lack of, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, in-game viability, that's for short, but yeah, you, I'm starting to have fun, and you can even see in this match the moment when I started having fun again, and I want to know if you can tell, I, it, was, it was a good time, this was a good match, honestly, hopefully you have some more games like this, well, that's it, anyway, that's all I have to say, take it easy guys, peace out. Always good to have another hero on board.